Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In today's video, let's talk about a repainting. I see this question come up many times in uh, comments and conversations and a lot of people ask uh, whether certain script repaints or not. Um, whenever I hear this question, the first impression I have is that person who is asking this question doesn't know anything about repainting. Uh, that's actually okay. We, are, we don't know about uh, a lot of things and we always admit that. Uh, but I also feel that the person who is asking this question do not want to learn what is repainting and how to identify that. But he just wants someone else to tell him that, um, you know, whether something repaints or not. He would have heard, they would have heard that, uh, you know, from someone saying uh, repainting is bad or impacts your trading. So they just want to know whether it is happening or not and avoid it or uh, stay away from such things right uh, this is not really a helpful mindset because uh, um, you know repainting is the means it doesn't always impact our trading and uh, sometimes um, you know knowing that there's a repainting is useful um, even though you can use continue using those indicators for example uh, things like zigzag the last pivot always repaints right so you don't use this zigzag for uh, trading you use zigzag for pattern recognition right so last pivot always uh, repaints but if you ask me if any of my zigzag um, you know indicator repaints then what should i tell so if i tell it's re yes it the last pivot repaints then you don't know what it what it means and you think that okay this repaints so let's not use this guy's uh, script because he may develop all the repainting things so i'll go away from him so that's why sometimes what happens is script authors may also say, you know, may not say directly that something repaints if you ask them. Um, and also, even if they say it repaints, it will not give you a, a clear picture on uh, what actually repaints and how it impacts your trading. So my suggestion is not to ask this question, but, you know, try to find it out yourself whether something, uh, re uh, whether an indicator repaints or not. Okay, let's say, um, in this video, what we'll do, we'll try to find out um, different types of repainting and uh, we'll see how to avoid them and how to find them. Um, and a bit about uh, coding, like, you know, uh, guidelines on how to um, um, develop something which doesn't repaint. Okay. So first of all, the repainting, before understanding um, types of repainting, uh, we also want to know what is repainting right so some people uh, think that a failed trade is a repaint a failed trade is not a repaint okay so if a trade fails it's a failed trade and any method you take there will always be failed trade and that's not called as repainting and should not be called as repainting right repainting is something like a indicator or a signal changes its states based on conditions right and it doesn't give you um a confirmed signal right it changes um, based on uh, intra bar candle moment or uh, based on few other things okay so the first type of repainting is uh, the intra bar related ones and they are um, they are mainly non security repainting right so intra bar what happens is if you look at rsi here the last bar um, last bar is always moving because this this particular bar is not confirmed the rsi was value is also moving keep moving up and down so it means that see you can see that the signal came up here but if I rsi goes back up then the signal will disappear so if you put your trading decision based on unconfirmed bar then it's likely that it will repaint right because you got the signal here but if price moves up then there is no signal you are in a trade but there is no signal right that's this signal is inconsistent so that's why you know this can be considered as a repaint but the takeaway here is how to avoid this is like you know um if something is happening you know do not build anything based on the last um unconfirmed pivot for your trading decision always build things based on the previous pivot even our strategies what it does is it only, it only considers confirmed bar for any calculations unless you check for options such as calculate on every take, recalculate on every take, etc. 
right? So um, that's why the first way of uh, um, you know avoiding this kind of repaints, which are based on the current um, bar which is moving, is not to use the unconfirmed bar values. Use the confirmed uh, values of the previous bar, right? And uh, the second type of repainting is security based repainting, which is uh, Future leak, like sometimes what happens when you're require when you're using request security, is um, it will it will what it will do is you know it um, there is a bit of future leak like uh, in in the back test it always knows what is the future price uh, based on security. For example, you are uh, you are running a strategy on one hour and using a daily time frame um, higher time frame values for some validation. So if you do not take particular precautions, what happens is the back test already knows today's uh, highest price and lowest price before that even happened, right? For example, if you look at this script, uh, daily close repainting result, um, if you look at this script, um, he clearly um, he doesn't have much exp explanation, but it says that this is a repainting uh, script cheating on tester. On back testing, it gives 100% correct result, but on forward testing, only 15% are correct, right? So if you look at this script, you feel like um, everything is green, it's great, um, great value, uh, very less drawdown and a lot of profit, etc. But when you try to use that, you may not find um, the similar results. So for example, come back to this, and if I look at one hour, you see perfect uh, signals here, buy and sell at um, you know, best places possible. But um, how to find this? Like, you know, whether it's leaking or not, it's whether it's a, say, there's a future leak or not. What we'll do, uh, we'll place some markers on all the trades where it happened, right? So there are two short signals and these three long signals. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll try to do um, bar replay, right? Just replay, right? And then try to the bar replay. What happens is you know it will um, it will run the candle as if it's happening now, right? So we'll try to run these candles now, and we should expect the signals at the same places. If the signals come up in the same places as mentioned here then there is no repaint or if the signal doesn't come up in the same places then it means that there can be repaint right if you look at this there's a repaint here uh, there's no repaint here because the signal appeared as expected but if you come further there is no signal here there used to be one when everything is completed but there is nothing here so this signal repainted actually this is a repainted signal so this that came up after we got the complete um, days data, right? So go further and you get a signal there. So this signal, which is supposed to come here, it came up here. That means that it gave away some of the profit, even though this trade is a profitable, it's not as profitable as when it repainted. Right now, let's wait for the long signal, but there is no long signal, right? So the long signal came here instead of here. So that resulted in a failed trade, I think. So now, further, if you go further, there is no short signal, or oh, there is a short signal there. It went well. Oh, there's a long signal here. There is nothing here in the, um, after the confirmed chart, but there's a long signal here. There's a short signal here again. Uh, this is the this signal is already there before. Uh, that's not a repaint, but there are two repaints here. So that's how you understand whether it's a repainting on as based on a security feature lake. Um, if the replay bar, um, you know, when you're replaying, the signals doesn't match the signal when replay is done, then it means that there is a repaint involved. But you cannot use this method um, to test the repainting on, um, you know, non-security based ones are the current bar based uh, repainting for current bar, uh, current bar based repainting ones you always need to um, look at um, look at the forward testing 
right? So um, if you sit on one hour chat, it may, be, may take too much time. So maybe push to one minute and observe the signals which is appearing. And if the signals appear and disappear, that kind of thing happens, uh, that's likely repainting. Otherwise, if they are consistent, if you think they are consistent, then they may be a, um, they will be good to follow, right? And uh, so we discussed about two types of, uh, you know, repainting and how to identify them. And also there are, if you are a programmer and if you want to develop strategies or code which doesn't repaint, um, some uh, materials to look for is are these things. Um, that is this reference manual. You look for repainting, search for repainting, and you see lots of uh, variables uh, which comes with the indication saying that using this may result in repainting indicator repainting. And also there are um, there is um, user manual where you can just search for repainting and there is a full chapter on repainting uh, different types of repainting and how to avoid them programmatically etc okay and also there are some uh, scripts from pine coders uh, which are very handy um, to understand the repainting concepts so look for say painting security repainting and you'll see this uh, these two scripts um example scripts you can study them to and get a better understanding of how to develop a code which doesn't repaint. Okay, um, and finally, like, you know, some people asked questions on my, some of my previous indicator, for example, ECG, um, electrocardiogram chart, uh, whether this repaints. Again, um, you know, if you look at this, this is not really a trading um, indicator. It's a graphical representation of uh, candles. So the repainting doesn't really matter for such kind of things because it's not giving you any buy or sell signals. So it is just trying to represent a candle in a different way. So there is no, um, even though there is a, like, you know, the last candle keeps moving, it's not considered as repainting or we should, it's considered as harmless repainting. So you should not be worried about these things. So the repainting, only matters when it impacts your trading decisions. So just keep in, keep this in mind. So that's the reason why it's necessary to test each of the things, each of the indicator of scripts which you're going to use and identify whether there is a repainting yourself. Okay, hope um, this helped a lot. Um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Bye.